transporting audiences to the nostalgic 1950s, Happy Days captured the essence of an era resonating with viewers across generations. A defining portrayal of American life, this series depicted the ups and downs of the Cunningham family and their tight-knit circle of friends centered around the iconic diner, Arnold's. Set against the backdrop of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the show's success lay in its relatable characters, led by the ever-charismatic Arthur, the Fonz Fonzarelli, portrayed by Henry Winkler. Reflecting on this beloved series often prompts the question, which classic Hollywood actor stood out as your favorite? Moreover, Happy Days has a knack for triggering cherished memories in viewers. Do you have a personal connection or standout moment tied to this TV gem? It's remarkable how this series left an indelible mark on its audience even beyond the screen. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your most cherished Happy Days experience or the personal connection that made it special to you. During its early days, the show struggled with low ratings. But things turned around when Henry Winkler's character Fonzie became a hit. His popularity lifted the show's ratings, leading to a nine-year run. Winkler's impact went beyond the screen, too. Once, a troubled teen called the studio, asking to speak with Fonzie. Winkler took the call and offered words of encouragement, helping the boy choose to keep going. In the show, Fonzie had a nickname for Joni Cunningham, Shortcake. These moments highlight both the show's turnaround and the impact of its iconic character. Richie Cunningham had a soft spot for Blueberry Hill by Fats Domino. It was his jam, a tune that resonated deep. But here's the thing about the show, vanished characters. Take Chuck Cunningham, Richie's older brother. Poof, gone without a trace, giving birth to what they call the Chuck Cunningham syndrome. Strange, huh? Now Fonzie, he's quite the dancer. When he snagged that dance contest win with Joni, he busted out moves from Hava Magilla, a Jewish dance. Curious, considering he's Italian, right? Turns out, his grandma's new Jewish fam might have taught him a thing or two. So yeah, Happy Days had its quirks, mysteries, and catchy tunes, making it more than just a run-of-the-mill show. In one of its episodes, Happy Days, the show we're discussing veered into unexpected territory. Sci-fi wasn't its usual fare, but it took a turn with several sci-fi-themed episodes. From encounters with Mork from Orc, initially portrayed as a villain, to facing off against the devil's nephew, the show dabbled in the supernatural. Even Al seemed caught in a possible gypsy curse, and Fonzie encountered a woman who turned out to be a ghost. It was a departure from the show's usual tone, but added an intriguing twist to the series. The house portrayed in the series didn't quite match its interior layout, creating a bit of a disconnect. If you noticed, the garage exterior didn't line up with Fonzie's upstairs digs. It was like they were from two separate worlds. It's one of those quirky TV quirks that makes you scratch your head, isn't it? But here's the real kicker. Roz Kelly's role as Pinky Tuscadero was meant to be a lasting presence on the show. However, clashes behind the scenes with Henry Winkler led to a change in plans. Isn't it intriguing how what happens off camera can alter the entire storyline? It's almost like a whole different script was being written behind the scenes, impacting what we saw on our screens. Crazy how real-life drama can weave its way into the fabric of our favorite TV shows, isn't it? Ah, the mysteries of showbiz. The shift in Happy Days was stark when Ron Howard departed, altering the show's dynamic. Marion Ross acknowledged the impact, saying, We thought the show wouldn't survive after Ron left. It did survive, but it was never the same. Fonzie's prominence grew, but struggled without Richie as his anchor. This change affected the show's trajectory, a sentiment echoed by many involved. The Fonzie-Richie relationship was pivotal, and when it dissolved, the show's essence shifted. Linda Goodfriend's transition from Ralph's girlfriend to Richie's girlfriend, Lori Beth, was an intriguing evolution within the series. Additionally, the origins of Potsy's name stemmed from his childhood affinity for working with Clay. Some draw connections between his name and a character from Greece, adding depth to the inspiration behind his moniker. These behind-the-scenes dynamics and character evolutions significantly shaped the series, defining its trajectory and impact. Marion Cunningham, a beloved character in the series, had a maiden name of Kelp. It might seem a simple detail, but within the realm of the show's narrative, it offered a glimpse into her past. 
While the show predominantly focused on the lives of the Cunninghams, their backgrounds often remained unexplored. Marion's maiden name, Kelp, hinted at a life beyond what the audience saw, suggesting a history that wasn't fully disclosed but added depth to her character. It's these subtleties that enriched the storytelling, hinting at lives beyond the immediate scope of the show. The garage where Fonzie worked went through a name change from Herbs to Broncos. When Herb retired, Bronco took over. This switch didn't just affect the sign outside, it mirrored a shift in the show's setting. The change in the garage's name might seem minor, but it symbolized a transition in the series, showcasing how even small alterations could mark significant turns. Beyond the surface, it reflected the evolving dynamics within the show, highlighting shifts that might have gone unnoticed at first glance. The garage's new name, Broncos, carried a subtle but meaningful impact on the world of the characters and their interactions. Ron Howard had reservations about being stuck in a teenager's role forever in the show. He didn't want to be typecast. Gary Marshall promised growth for the characters, allowing them to move on with their lives beyond high school. That's why we see them graduate, head to college, and start adult lives. It's a testament to the show's commitment to character evolution and breaking stereotypes within the series. From those initial concerns arose a show that let its characters grow up, a rare sight in TV series back then. And it all started with a simple conversation between Ron Howard and Gary Marshall, shaping the trajectory of the characters we came to know and love. Henry Winkler, forever etched in television history as the iconic Fonzie, faced a pivotal moment when offered a role in Greece. Temptation tugged at him, yet a keen intuition nudged him to step aside, believing John Travolta was the perfect fit. This selfless decision didn't just define Winkler's career, it became a testament to his humility and knack for recognizing talent. Remaining devoted to his happy day's commitment, Winkler couldn't evade the spotlight's relentless focus on his singing abilities or lack thereof showcased in an unforgettable episode. But his connection to the series endured beyond this as he, alongside Donnie Most and Ron Howard, found a different avenue to keep the magic alive lending their voices to the animated spin-off Fonts and the Happy Days Gang. Through animated adventures, they kept the spirit of the beloved show alive, captivating audiences, and ensuring its legacy transcended the boundaries of live-action TV. Henry Winkler's journey, filled with twists of fate and unspoken generosity, continues to inspire a reminder of how one decision can shape an entire era of television history. As our journey through the nostalgia-laden realms of classic TV draws to a close, let's take a moment to revel in the warm glow of happy days. This iconic series wasn't just about the adventures of the Cunningham family or the antics of the Fonts, it was a cultural touchstone that echoed through generations. Perhaps it's the timeless camaraderie among the characters that lingers in your memory, or maybe it's the way it effortlessly captured the essence of an era. Whatever it is that makes happy days resonate within you, we invite you to share those cherished fragments. Your reflections weave a beautiful tapestry of shared experiences, reminding us of the lasting impact this show has had. So let your thoughts flow freely, your anecdotes sparkle, and your nostalgia bloom. Dive into that treasure trove of memories and anecdotes, and if you feel inclined, share your favorite happy days moments with us. Your stories add depth to the collective adoration for this beloved series. Thank you for taking this moment to walk down memory lane with us. Your time and connection are truly appreciated. Thank you.